Well, so in here with the tech margin, I'm going to do a quick short for y'all today. This one's going to be about the subject of digital hygiene. Um, you might have heard that term before. If not, it's totally cool. But basically, digital hygiene is just like your real world IRL um, hygiene. It's um, you're going to want to keep organized and minimal if you want to have kind of a clutter free and clear head when you're online. One of the places to start with this is with your inbox. Um, it's kind of where the source of everything happens, I think, for, for many of us online. And so basically what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to want to use a consolidated tool set like I do. Um, I am not sponsored by Google. I'd be happy to be sponsored by Google <laughs> if they should ever want to sponsor me. But I'm going to talk a little bit about their tool set because that's what I use for my email, uh, for my calendar. And then I, I use other tools that they provide for free to integrate those things like seamlessly. I don't even have to do any work to do that. It's just right there. I noticed that a lot of people don't know about these things. So I'm just going to speak to them a little bit. Um, so first of all, you're going to use Google Chrome, you're going to use Google email and you're going to use Google Calendar. So if you don't have a, a Gmail account, you're going to want to set one up for for this. Um, but you probably do. Most people do. Um, you can also point your other inboxes at your Google account. Um, so starting with your inbox. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn on the tabbed mode, which is under settings, and you're going to go to the categories and pick the categories that you want. I use promotions, forums and primary. And what that will do is Google will automatically filter out different types of emails, at least as best as it can into those tab groups, which will simplify your in, your inbox like right out the gate. Sometimes you'll have to train it a little bit, like sometimes I'll get promotions in my inbox and everything, but you can just drag those over and put them into the promotions tab. All right, that's number one. Um, number two, you're going to want to start adopting the use of labels. You can use labels copiously. You can nest labels. Labels are basically just folders in your inbox. You'll notice that some of the words are um, proprietary or like taken by the system. Like you can't use just finance by itself. So if you ever run into a word like that, you can just put like an underscore or something like that after it. So thing one, turn on the tab view. Thing two, use labels to organize your stuff. Thing three, Start using tasks. There's a handy little sidebar in your Google Chrome um, email, like in your Gmail inbox view. And if you click it, you can see ta tasks will pop open. So um, I'm going to screen share as well so you can see all of this. But basically, the um, way I use tasks is I will click on an email. And then if there's something I need to follow up on about that or like I need to do some reading about it later and I just don't have time right now, I'm, I will do two things. I will label it if I don't want it taking up space of those special seven or less emails in my inbox. I'll label it so that it gets out of my primary. And then I will also make a task so that I know to follow up on it. The other thing that's really cool about tasks is it instantly integrates with your calendar. So if you have a task that you want to like assign a time frame to or make a reminder on your calendar, you can just do that right there in line. And then it'll pop up open on your calendar as well. If you do these things and then you periodically, like every day when you open your inbox, you just like delete stuff, you will find that before long, you are no longer one of the 30,000 emails in their inbox people. And you actually have some sort of hold and structure around this. And it really frees your mind up. I can't even tell you how like just clutter starts to have a background impact on our lives. And that's true in like the real world. And it's also true in digital space. So try it. Let me know what you think. I hope this is useful. Digital hygiene is just like oral hygiene, except that your teeth won't fall out. But you will feel better when you have digital hygiene. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like it, hit subscribe, share it with your friends. I'm trying to build up my followers because right now I've got like seven and I need to get a thousand, a thousand in order to get monetized. It seems like so many, but I don't know. I guess everybody gets there eventually if you just keep going like the little engine that could. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'm Sonia at The Tech Margin. You can find me at www.thetechmargin.com. And again, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends. Let me know what else you'd like me to talk about. Got one coming up next on negotiation. So stay tuned for that. Thanks. Bye. Have a great weekend.